commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 14, Hustle League, Round of 32 Group G. Losers match up right-hand corner. We have I Love XTO as the green turn. Bottom right-hand corner as the uh, very fetching blue, actually. Can I color swap this? I'm going to color swap this. All right. Colors again. Bottom right-hand corner, we have 80s mullet. Upper right-hand corner, we have I Love XTO as the red turn. Red versus blue, a little bit easier to spot. This is on Metaverse. And just in case you guys are unfamiliar with Metaverse, I'm not sure if I've done kind of the cam. You got the uh, Kakaru that has the hallucination that's just born to die. When angels are born to... Anyway. And it didn't even do this. It's, it's hallucinated. It doesn't do the screen when I click it here. What? That's whatever. Whatever. I'm disappointed by that. You have the vertical ramps, which I think are really fun. You've got the Zelnaga Temple and the Mineral Field. And uh, that can lead to a more protected third, but you need to take down the power generator to go ahead and take that. So that can be a delay. You have this third base, but you can see where it's just exposed from back angle. You're ex exposed from this angle and a little bit hard to get reinforcements to defend. So what oftentimes the name of the game is, is early game map control, which on this map, I'm not sure I, which direction I would want. I, I almost feel like Wraith Seed Shank may be a little bit better on this. So you can spot that high ground rather than Goliath Seed Shank. So you can kind of spot the various, because there are a lot, I'll take this off, because there's a lot of area you can see where there's just the vertical, uh, just a lot of ramps, a lot of ramps. There's a lot of places and you really need to keep an eye on your opponent's army and where it's headed because it is a larger map. Kind of, I don't know, try to know what's incoming. Barracks kind of at an odd position for XTO, maybe wanting to play a little bit more creative. He is grabbing that refinery as well, 80s mullet grabbing his barracks and refinery. So now that I'm actually looking at the build orders behind this, 80s mullet slightly ahead by an SEV, I think because he has withheld an SEV scout and we have an early, potentially this is why, an earlier scout for XTO. This could turn into a front door contained for 80s mullet, but it looks like instead he's just gonna go ahead, I think just produce the first Marine on site. This is such a weird position for this barracks and it might be to try to it looks like 80s mullet is going to get the first scout let's see if he scouts the entirety of the base because what this might if he doesn't scout this barracks this might lead him to believe that there's a proxy some some location in the meantime xto is going to get the short end of the straw because he's going for a counterclockwise scout and is going to come across this last factory's been spotted for 80s mullet looks like yeah the back the barracks at the odd position has been maybe this is just so he can float it a little bit earlier and start i don't know Maybe uh, the position towards that third. Maybe he wants to go for a quick three base and wants to make sure that that barracks is in position to float over to get vision there. Nice attack from 80s mullet. Able to kill the SCV building the factory. This SCV loses its life, but that's going to delay that factory a little bit. And that's huge, actually, in TVT. Getting more vultures out in the early game in particular can be the difference between feeling secure in your expansion or not. Single SCV on gas here, by the way. Looks like for both players, 80s Molt still a sliver ahead, floating out that barracks to, I assume, run and scout his opponent, two Marines, taking position on the low ground to go ahead and box out any additional scouting information. And 80s Molt feeling comfortable with the harassment he's done to go ahead and grab that command center before he's, with that machine shot plopping down, before he's even gotten a, a unit out. We are going to see the first vulture being produced by XTO, but... And actually, it looks like finally this SCV scout walking in. One thing here is XTO might have an opportunity. Oh, no, he's not going to go for it. He, he can confirm the build order now. He knows that it wasn't 14 command center. He's going to go ahead and grab his command center. He's built a handful of Marines more. And the first siege tank about halfway away. And this could actually be a scary attack for 80s mullet. So Vulture moving out three Marines and an SCV. And the first siege tank, it's, there's only a single Marine. And it's going to be a minute before this first SCV is here, or the first siege tank's here, which means this command center is going to be exposed, potentially canceled, definitely delayed. So now that SCV taking some damage. A bunker being built on location, only a single Marine to try to defend it. That single Marine getting wiped out. But this, yeah, got to use that high ground advantage, but he's also got to get down there and prevent that bunker from being built. So he needs to get another shot on that SCV. Second siege tank being built. More vultures coming in to oppose this. Looks like the marines have been wiped out. So that's it for the bunker attack. But see if that bunker gets canceled. It's just been left here to be attacked 
in the meantime. But what that's done is that delayed that command center. So I, oh, XTO is going to be able to get his command center up a little bit earlier. Paid for it with a handful of Marines. But the siege tank count, that siege tank's a hero. Four kills. Nice micro and 80s mullet. Way to handle this. A little bit of an early SCV transfer, so they're going to have to return back to the home base. But two factories down. Mines being researched. Second factory just coming online for XTO. 80s Molt with the two SCV lead. Which is not irrecoverable, but is something. See how he plays from here. It looks like he might go for a push of his own after all of those troops were expended. And knowing that it was a Vulture first opener. A single Siege Tank back here. Siege Tech is not being upgraded. Second Machine Shop being dropped. Third factory being plopped down as well. No third factory for 80s mullet. So it's, there's going to be a window here where he might be able to overwhelm some troops and actually dropping that barracks to go ahead and block off reinforcements and create a bit of a conundrum. So two siege tanks moving up. SCV's pulling off the line to try to help defend. They're on the low ground, which I'm not sure. Well, that's still going to cause a misfire rate, but SCV's able to get, or able to actually box a lot of this out. A lot of them paying for it with their lives. So 80s mullet continuing to climb ahead. And the worker count lead. This siege tank in the back lines doing some damage. It looked like a mine being planted to go ahead and cut off reinforcements as well. So these siege tanks and these... Uh, this siege tank, I should say. Not plural. This siege tank and these SCVs potentially going to get wiped out. Nice little bit of micro there to repair by I Love OXT. The rest of the SCVs ignoring that repairing siege tank. Going to move into the natural expansion and make sure it stays thin. This is giving it a 5... Worker lead to 80s mullet overall. Plus, he's got mines all over the place. And this is turning into a chaotic match. you got mines everywhere. Mind drag killing some SCVs. Finishing off that siege tank. More group repair. And this is also minerals that have had to go into repairing that siege tank. Let's see if that... Yeah, the barracks just lifts right back off. More mines being dropped. More t mines landing on the, siege, on the siege tanks on the front. They're actually lucky that there wasn't more splash out of that. And 80s mullet comfortably mining out of his natural expansion. Already grabbing his second gas. Getting his third and fourth factory. Right now in a commanding position. Looking good overall. Speed being upgraded. Looks like the engineering bay is online now. For XTO. The barracks being floated back. There's a single marine that looks like it was, for whatever reason, hovering. Could have been helpful before. An ACV is hanging out in that upper left-hand corner. I think just, uh, not sure. So that's, so keep, I'm not sure what the purpose of this SCV in the corner is, to be honest. Maybe to make sure that there weren't any proxies, something along those lines. Single Vulture has been scouted as that temple was potentially being worked on. With detection, going to clear some mines out. That barracks is now burning and it's going to need to return to home base or be rebuilt. But 80's mullet in a nice position. The one thing is he is down uh, in the army count a bit. Upgrading siege tech now. He's got five vultures in the siege tank. Versus a significant amount of vultures and two siege tanks. Has a huge worker lead, but needs to translate that into more units. Also managed to sneak a goliath out here. And it looks like... Oh, are you kidding me? So that's why that SCV is in the upper left-hand corner. This is going to be a ninja expansion in the upper left. So XTO going to play... I don't even know what to get. This is like the, the dirty, dirty Terran maneuver. Also, just checking out the rest of the bases with the Vulture to make sure that his opponent wasn't doing the same. So now, even though XTO is way behind in economy, if he can just sit and hide and rely on 80s Malt not to scout, might be able to climb back into this. Also doing a great job of diving in these Vultures and stopping that third base from being grabbed. Two machine shops, two factories behind it for a four factory count. Same being mirrored, although this factory just coming online for XTO. He's going to grab a starport as well. Potentially for Wraith, potentially for drops, potentially to just get armory upgrades, although I don't see an armory on either side of the map as of... Or sorry, there's the armory for 80s mole. It looks like he is going to get plus one weapons here. I think well ahead. Because I don't see, yeah, it's not hidden back here any place. No armory. So that will be an advantage for 80s Mullet. But I think he's feeling comfortable. Is this Vulture going to be able to sneak that upper left and find it? SCVs are being built on site. These Vultures need to hunt this Vulture down. Because as it wanders in, finds the base. So now 80s Mullet 
can recognize the situation that he's behind now, that this third is up, but that opens up opportunity where it's like, okay, you got to defend multiple locations. Is he going to attack into it or attack towards the natural, or is he going to go ahead and just grab his main? It looks like the Zelnaga Temple also being opened up by XTO for purposes unknown, potentially to go for backstabs, apply a little bit more pressure that direction. This is a much harder base to defend and hold. Also, I think it has fewer mineral patches. So you got this small mineral patch, and it's just six mineral patches versus in the upper corner where you've got like the full, full grouping. Some vultures sneaking through. Decent defense force for XTO, though, to engage this. And 80's Molt needs to make something happen right now. So he's currently got the lead, but he needs to cap capitalize on that lead one direction or the other. It looks like he's just going to float out a command center and take that safer third. I think I missed Vultures getting wiped out or trying to wipe out something and getting wiped out in that upper left-hand corner. That is a huge amount of Vultures for XTO currently. Huge amount of Vultures and five Siege Tanks clearing out one of the Zelnaga Temples. Actually, just I think sieging is the faster way to get through these because you just siege and then it splashes every temple is the way it works. Fifth and sixth factory are online for 80s mullet. He's got his compsat station being built. Mine's going to go ahead. So uh, it's going to walk to the high ground. Try to clear out some of these mines, get a little bit of position. He's now actually fallen behind in the overall supply count. Is about even as far as workers go. And because of this third that's just, it's difficult to defend, I think he's in a little bit more of a pinned back position. And so XTO also going to open up this El Naga Temple, maybe get some siege tanks. He has two spotter buildings to go ahead and maybe wreak some havoc here at 80's Mullet Natural Expansion. 80's Mullet now moving out with a lot of his units. There's a lot of mines in the way and no science vessel to help clear, so he's going to have to walk through this minefield, and if the vultures are on top of it, they can engage. They do have this plus one weapons upgrade, keep in mind. So they're filtering through, engaging in this army, backing up to the siege tank line. But it looks like because they came in piecemeal and because there's just overwhelming amounts of vultures, should be able to hold this. Yeah, now the siege tank's walking. Or is he just going to take this third? Is, Or I should say this three o'clock base? Odd play. In the meantime, 80's mullet. Sweeping across, trying to cut off reinforcements. He wants to whittle away, but it looks like there's other siege tanks in position for XTO. And he's making... there. Yeah, here we go. And he's making moves towards 80's Molt natural expansion. So attacking... So defending on one front, attacking on another. Engineering Bay spotting forward. Siege tanks on the low ground. Can they reach? I don't think that's a reach location. But he can start clearing out this temple. And drop some missile turrets. And this is going to be a challenge for 80's Molt to repair... Uh, to repel, I should say. Not repair. So yeah, Siege Tank's just waiting in the gaps. The building's spotting. Can't hit the Compsat Station and the Refinery. 80's Molt moving forward with a huge army, though, to potentially just walk up into the natural expansion. A lot of mines in the way. Not a lot of Siege Tanks. This is high ground advantage for XTO, but he's down in upgrades. Obliterated everything there. And honestly, yeah, I feel like if Mullet just walks up, he might be able to win this game just by pressing the natural expansion here, but there's a lot of distractions. you got upper left, you've got the attack at your natural here, so trying to walk up past these mines, he is now at the natural. You have the siege tanks here, they've wiped out, so this this is kind of a, another situation where his economy is also getting hit simultaneously, though, so he needs to get something out of this attack. SEV's pulling off the line, able to thin out a huge amount of those siege tanks, and that actually might be sufficient where this attack force can be cleaned up. So 80's mullet has got 50 SEVs across two bases trying to build his fourth while this is happening. XTO fielding more season. He's also got some Wraith on point to go ahead and funnel into this. He's still... Yeah, group repair on that command center at the natural expansion. The Wraith down, no Goliaths to help defend it. So this attack is going to be repelled. So all of a sudden, 80's mullet through some nice battle SEVs from XTO. He's not going to capitalize on... Well, maybe. He's got more reinforcements coming in. Still nothing to deal with that rate, though. More vultures filtering forward, and XTO with some fantastic defense attack. So it's like defending the upper left, attacking the natural expansion, and defending his 
natural. It looks like finally that engineering bay going to be wiped out and that barracks going to be pushed back by that Goliath to at least get rid of some vision at the natural. But this is a one less gas, not a lot of mining saturation here. And 80s mullet walking down to the six o'clock location hasn't cleared out the generator yet. So now looking for additional locations to try to attack. He's still trying to press this attack at the main. XTO has plenty of siege tanks and overhead wraith that are pressing into this. The vulture is going to sneak through. If XTO defends, he's got a huge supply lead. He's definitely mining more efficiently across additional bases. 80s mullet now trying to sneak out, but there's a mine right there. And this is a very precarious base to try to take. Looks like this attack has finally been completely nullified. To the point XTO can go ahead and get a high ground advantage. Goliath trying to press into this, but he's not long for life. And Edie's Mullet now in a bit of a conundrum. He's down a lot of supply. He's behind economically. XTO has somehow managed to... It looks like he's got a fourth ready to be planted. Potentially at the natural expansion. Pot uh, potentially at the 12 o'clock. Actually, I wonder what happens if you plant the command center on the opposite side. I mean, yeah, you're boxed out gas. But anyway. Plus, there's still siege tanks. And another engineering bay being built. These units have not been evicted out of the 3 o'clock location. I haven't seen a starport. So there's a starport, but I haven't seen a dropship or anything to try to counter that. Three machine shops down. 80s Molt trying to re-macro. He is way ahead in the upgrade game. So small silver linings there. But XTO has huge portion of the map. 80s Mullet now a little bit overextended where he is just going to have to rely on... He's kind of covering... This is kind of an interesting play. What he could do is he could go for like the inverted contain here. Where he just tries to hold from the low ground and box out the rest of the map and just get really greedy economically. But it looks like XTO is already ahead of him in that effort. He's got upper left. He's going for the natural in the upper left. The engineering base scooting across. And it looks like that is attacking the natural expansion. There's just stuff on fire all over the place. And things... For our Swedish hero, they are looking a little bit grim, I'm going to say. He's down down SCVs. It looks like he is going to be mining here. So he's mining off two base. The main is just about mined out. Natural expansion has been harassed, so that is a mining base he can work with, but he needs to get somehow evict that. XTO is now taking territory, sweeping across, escorting SCVs to the upper left. It looks like they're mostly going to be unopposed. A single vulture looked like it wanted to try to assault that line, but it was engaged by some defensive vultures. And aggressively dissuaded from doing so. Yeah, so able to get a handful of vulture kills, but not much else. XTO now has a sizable lead. He's down on upgrades, but he does have double armory whirling. He has a lot of expansions, and he's getting further ahead. He's just holding a lot of territory. Plus, this base, this command center, looks like it's just being sacked by 80s Mullet now. Just giving up on his natural. Which means he's basically two base versus soon to be three, but basically four because of the natural of XTO. He's got some mine coverage walking up into it, still eating mines as he's pressing across. So 80s Molt needs to defend, the, vitally needs to defend this bottom left. He's got this base, which is difficult to defend if troops end up in open field. He needs to attack some expansions and secure economy simultaneously. Down 40 supply, but he still does have level 2 weapons. But that's a short window as the upgrades are whirling on XTO's side. Moved into the middle. So he's got the high ground kind of splitting back and forth. Maybe he can concentrate. There's only two siege tanks. Sorry, three siege tanks. Four siege tanks, I can count. And ten vultures behind all of this. So maybe if he can make some press, but just in case, XTO building troops at location, already anticipating a potential attack in the upper left. So a Wraith Force is going to be there. A factory is dropping some siege tanks as well. And now this is looking really grim. Siege tanks also boxing out. So another command center being built to retake the natural expansion. But XTO has just been frustrating on really all fronts. He's got another base in the wings. He's got dropships to work with to go ahead and... Honestly, this just feels kind of like icing on the cake for him. He's way up in supply. Plus one armor came online. Plus one, uh, plus two weapons is not that far behind. I'm not sure if 80, 80s Mullet has kept on top of upgrades this time. He's trying to take this bottom left. 
He's building some starports on location as well. But right now he is a very shaky, a very shaky bit of map control. Definitely economically behind. But that upgrade advantage is still there for him if he can just get some solid engagements. Grouping up with a lot of troops does look like he wants to punch through the upper left. More siege tanks are here. Some dropships have been funneled up. Some SCVs in here as well. To potentially do some aggressive bombing. So, 80s mullet now. So, he's got some siege tanks, some vultures, some goliaths, etc. Surrounding and threatening the north side of the map. He's trying to grab everything on his side of the map simultaneously. But, XTO's just hit 200 supply. He's got dropships to work with. He's got a wraith force that's moving out. I don't know if this is enough Goliaths to deal with it as well. Although, look, yeah, it looks like it's plenty. Wraith are just, they're paper. They're paper airplanes is what they are. Escorting with the dropships, but a critical drop bottom left, which this base has just been comps at, and I don't think 80s Molts is going to, he can't. He's not in, def, in position to defend it. So what that might trigger is for him to unsiege, try to roll up this ramp, but there's defense forces there to repel it. And in that exchange, honestly, I favor XTO. 80s Malt catching up in supply, though. The Wraith flying forward, seeing a Goliath. More Wraith being produced. And now everything unloading, bottom left. Some turrets might even be able to be built to deal with these Wraith. But never mind, the Starport just going to lift off. And from this position, XTO able to attack that, ugh, that inside 7 o'clock location and threaten the upper left. So again, 80s Malt... His economy hurting. And XTO with these kind of... I don't know what to call them. These scalpel-like attacks. Here we saw it earlier at the 3 o'clock location. Now with some drops to the bottom left. Yeah, turrets being built. Going to drop both of these starports. 80s mullet unseaging, regrouping. It looks like he wants to just go for the main. But a siege tank line is waiting for him there. Looks like he might be able to clear a lot of this out. Those tanks boiling their way forward. Everything on sieging and looking to reinforce, including, while well, the dropships are currently empty, trying to reinforce. 80s Mullet needs to move rapidly to establish position. It looks like there are plenty of siege tanks from the southern line, though. Supply is plummeting for a Swedish hero. The dropships turning around now that they've scooped up those vultures, able to do some nice bombs on top of these siege tanks, really thinning the herd. The dropships are getting wiped out in the meantime, but here's the thing. 80s Mullet, with this attack force, needs to wipe out all of the factories in the upper right. If he's not wiping out factories, this is a completely pirate victory because this natural expansion was already abandoned. The main is mined out. There's no economic victory to be won here. He's, no, he's barely mining here. You can see the difference in banks. So he's got to rely on his weapons upgrade, which looks like he's only got plus three weapons. And... Both level 3 weapons, level 3 armor have already been started for XTO. It looks like he's going to be able to take out the command center here. But he needs to shove in rapidly, wipe out the factory line, and do that before a lot of things are being rebuilt. But XTO is comfortable dropping a bunch of starports. And he's just going to go for a tech switch knowing 80s mullet does not have the economy to contend with it. And now we're seeing, yeah, battle cruisers being fielded. 80s mullet, ugh. In a dire situation, SCVs trying to distance mine under siege tank fire. Heroic SCVs have opened up the base here in the 6 o'clock location to go ahead and grab that. The natural expansion is still here, but still getting boxed out by XTO. And XTO, now it's a, it's a waiting game. As soon as this first round of BCs are out, I think that will be the GG moment. But 80s Mullet kind of holding his breath in the meantime, hoping to find... Some lifeblood in the form of that blue uh, of those blue minerals. Vulture sneaking out. Siege tank gonna get wiped out. SEV is gonna wander into this upper right hand base. 80s mullet actually gonna try to take the middle of the map. A very risky maneuver. 
some distance mining gas SCVs now. It looks like XTO bricked. So this is kind of a statement. He's grabbed the 3 o'clock base as well. So right now he's got pretty much everything on the map. Yeah, he's literally at every single base. Except for the 6 o'clock, the center of the map. 80s Molts, Natural Expansion, and what's typically the 3 o'clock, or the 3rd base in the bottom left-hand corner at the inside 7 o'clock location. So XTO's bank grows. He's got a bunch of battle cruisers to sit behind this. The Goliaths, they're, yeah, 80s Molt cannot get sufficient enough Goliaths out in time to contend with all of this. So I think as soon as he sees those battle cruisers, that will be game. Never mind, going to call GG right there. Might have comps had it and seen the battle cruisers with one of those scans. Uh, I wanted to see 80s Molt advance to the round of 16 at least, but unfortunately we'll have to hopefully see him next season of BSL. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.